en dan is zien of dat hij recording eruit ziet. Um, maar misschien duurt dat wel even eer dat die er staan. Ja. Ik ben nu, ben nu tien seconden aan het opnemen. Dan ga ik op stop doen. Uh, klik naar de webcam. Because I'm using my webcam. Uh, dat ik de webcam. Because I'm using my webcam to stream the talk. I'm not using screen sharing. Uh, to make that larger. Uh, it would be cool to click it. You can read slides. And it would be nice. Somebody could confirm in the chat that it's working and that you're hearing me correctly and uh, if the technical things are out of the way we can get get uh, get started okay um audio quality is not perfect but um don't know what to do about it. Um, not, uh, start the audio if it's very annoying. So without head for a second. What about now? Is this better? Not so much. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying with the AirPods. Maybe this, this is better. All right. Okay, thank you, Apple. Um, so I'm going to uh, share my screen again. So it helps to click the blue button on the top right of the slide, hide presentation, and then you can see uh, the presentation in full. And with all of those audio problems out of the way, uh, we can get started. Um, my session is called Success Through Openness in Design. And um, my name is Johan. I'm a designer. I work for a company called Mono, also known as Mono Company on uh, Twitter and uh, we are a small design studio. We are seven people strong and we've been around for uh, seven years. We design digital products and services. And um, it looks like the work we do on the left side, you can see um, a, a video editing application. On the right side, you can see a planner application uh, for schools uh, to um, plan their lessons. And I sometimes jokingly say that um, all I do every day is draw boxes and arrows and connect uh, things together. As a designer, I'm always thinking about where should the button go? What is the content of the screen? How do you go from screen to screen? And I find that overall the last few years, uh, the overall quality of um, software and digital 
experience has, has been getting much better. So um, if you're Belgium, Belgian uh, and you have to do your taxes, you might remember uh, the screen on the left, which is the EID middleware. And um, it, um, it, it was uh, a terrible experience to uh, log into the federal government, your EID. And now things have gone better uh, through It's Me. And I think overall, the last few years, there's been like a big baseline quality improvement in uh, design. Um, so um, the general level of things that are being put out there is much uh, bigger. And uh, firms, uh, companies have all also decided uh, to share their design more. So on the top left, you can see IBM's carbon design system. On the bottom right, you can see Shopify's Polaris design system. And these companies have decided to share their code publicly, to share their um, design system publicly, um, so that anyone can access it, learn from it, and uh, maybe um, use some of it in their own work, either as inspiration or sometimes completely uh, with uh, very per permissive uh, licenses. Um, as a designer, I always encounter uh, specific problems. For example, a few weeks ago, I was working on a system where uh, it was about dates. So I had to find a way uh, to ask someone for their birth date. And this is a similar pattern on gov.uk um, where they ask the question, when was your password, passport issued? Uh, so you see that the design solution that they have is to ask for day, month, and year in three separate fields. Now, there are so many ways you can tackle this problem. Um, if you look at uh, how other uh, companies did it, like for example, LinkedIn, they have this very um, complex um, picker where you can um, pick between first the range uh, of, of dates, and then uh, depending on the range of dates, you will also get a double date picker. Uh, so the question is, uh, what is the best pattern um, at, the, at the right time? Um, and uh, as a designer, I'm immensely thankful to have all of these design systems out there that I can reference and check their research. I am also big on sharing myself as a designer. Uh, on the bottom right, you can see a photo from a design systems event that we held in Ghent. You know when we could still hold uh, real life events. And on the top left, you can see my GitHub profile where I post a lot of open source projects and things that I'm playing with. And I think um, I, I, I like this uh, sharing because it allows me to learn uh, from others, it gets me into a conversation uh, with others. And I strongly believe that our work becomes better when it's uh, discussed. So when there are multiple eyes on, on a problem, when there are uh, many people uh, discussing something, that's when uh, work uh, can get much better. Um, and um, there's a certain evolution in, in, in the sharing of work. Uh, we had open source code uh, for a long time, but now there's also uh, more, more and more design being shared. One of my favorite apps uh, is called Figma. So the, that's the app icon for one of my favorite design apps, Figma. Um, they, uh, they decided that it's um, super important uh, to, to, uh, to focus on community. So Figma, uh, it's an application that you can use to design things. It's a bit like Photoshop or Sketch. You can use it to design, but you can design together. So it's a bit like Google Docs. But for design, if you've used Miro, uh, Miro the platform, it's similar, but it's more like a professional design tool uh, where you can work together. But uh, Figma decided that community is so important that uh, they made it one of their pillars for their product design last year, um, focusing hugely on community and sharing of design, remixing other designs work. And whenever you uh, publish something on the Figma community, uh, you do it with a permissive license, so a Creative Commons license, CC by attribute uh, for those uh, who know their uh, C license. Um, and it means that uh, whenever you share something, that others can use it as long as they credit you. And um, we've also been publishing as a company uh, some uh, design things on, uh, on our at Mono account. And uh, for, for now, we've published uh, mono icons, we've published uh, mono devices, which are device frames, and uh, another resource. And I think 
um, the sharing of design is, 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 is so important. So maybe for those who don't know what a design system is, because I'm talking design system here, design system there, and you might wonder what, what is he talking about? What is a design system? It's a, a cohesive set of principles, design patterns and guidelines that allow uh, people to work together uh, to work on digital experiences. So for example, the people at IBM, so that's the top left, or the people at Shopify, that's the bottom right. They have this documentation website that uh, tens, hundreds of people uh, maybe worked on uh, together to unify what a Shopify app looks like or what does an IBM app look like. And it doesn't, um, it's not only uh, private companies that do this, uh, governments uh, do it as well. Um, in the Netherlands, there is a project that, that is starting uh, that it's about um, starting a Netherlands design system. So if the uh, Dutch government has to make an application, um, what, uh, what does it look like? How will it work? Um, it's an early phase. Uh, this is a website uh, to promote uh, the idea. Um, and on this slide, you can see like a previous version of the design. This is not what it's going to be in the end. It's uh, one of the projects that started the idea of why don't we um, take this work and why don't we uh, share it with a wider community. Um, what they did was set up a Slack uh, where uh, they are discussing the design system and uh, the community is quite active holding roundtables and uh, events and, um, and talking to each other uh, to try and figure out how to do this. I think that's quite interesting and it reminds me a lot of the gov.uk um, design system. So gov.uk, um, the redesign uh, of gov.uk is about 10 years old. Uh, 2011, uh, they launched uh, this, uh, this website. And in, if you compare it to uh, in Belgium, it's a bit uh, comparable to the Vlaanderen.be website or federal level Belgium.be website. Uh, so you go there to get information about your passport, about driver's license, about get married, you know, life stuff. And then um, on the right side of this slide, you can see uh, the homepage for the gov.uk design system. So from that project, uh, a design system was born, which is now used uh, to, um, to, to power uh, a lot of government projects in the UK. So I think um, they are quite ahead when it comes to implementing a, a government-wide uh, design system in the UK. And uh, the team behind this is called the GDS, Government Digital Service. And they uh, have been quite prolific in sharing uh, everything that they uh, learn. So uh, they built up a community. They have um, a lot of blog posts. Uh, I remember a time when someone from GDS uh, came to speak um, in Antwerp and um, to, to promote uh, what, what they learned uh, as a group about the government lens of a design system, about how to uh, do this in general and um, I think um, the what they achieved is uh, is brilliant uh, they unified over 2,000 websites with a different look a different experience uh, to to use the uh, GS, uh, made a design system so the gov.uk design system and if you look a bit uh, deeper um, it's really cool what they do so for example if you look into a design pattern or a component, they have a cookie banner. Um, I don't like cookie banners, so it's just an example. Uh, but if you if you uh, think of, if you look at how they do things, I think it's quite mature. They have a, a design page about the cookie banner, where it says that it, in this case that it's an experimental component. You can get the code there. You can get the design for that um, uh, component there. But there is also like a whole GitHub discussion about that component. So if you want to know why the design is the way it is, you can read the whole discussion on GitHub, which is, I took the screenshots, um, more than uh, 10, 20 pages long if you would print it out. And that's all the research that people put behind this, all the opinions on the page. So the um, evolution of the design is effectively being tracked. And this prevents people from reinventing the wheel all over again. Uh, based on the research, you get to a pattern, the pattern gets validated, maybe it's validated through testing, usability testing, user testing, and uh, through community discussion, and then this pattern uh, is ready uh, to get shared with a wider audience. Um, 
but um, I want to bring this back to Belgium. Um, in Belgium, I think there are a lot of strong open source initiatives in the development world. But if it comes to design, there's not that many. In the development world, there's, there's FOSDEM, a yearly conference about open source initiatives. There's uh, Drupal, which was founded by a Belgian. There are initiatives like Open Summer of Code and Apps for Ghent. There's an upcoming initiative from the government about working with uh, Solid and Data Vaults. But if I look at uh, design or open design uh, initiatives in Belgium, there are initiatives. And I think that's uh, a bit of a shame if you look at where uh, things are going, um, where um, we're going with, uh, with, uh, with the review plan from Europe, uh, where we're going um, politics-wise with the plans um, from the, the federal government about uh, making things more digital then I think uh, we have a lot of work on the table. So my proposal would be to um, take a cue from gov.uk and also from the Dutch people who already started their project and think about maybe we should create a Belgian design system. And one Sunday, I was very ambitious, I think. I just started uh, creating it. I made a proof of concept for the federal level uh, brand guidelines, Belgium. So that was the start because I thought uh, we first we need uh, the brand uh, right, and uh, I was a bit overly ambitious. I think uh, I worked on it a few hours and realized that um, this is not gonna gonna be a one one. Person. It's gonna be a, a big job. But I looked at the logo and was like, I don't like this logo. Maybe we should change it. And then I looked at the Info Coronavirus website um, and I was like. Huh. Why is the line length so long? And what is that ugly uh, banner doing there? Uh, we should really uh, focus it a bit more and work on the typography and try to, to take my designer's eye and, and look at things and, and think about uh, where we could go. And this is by no means um, a finished work, of course. It's, you can see there's a lot of placeholders and it's really a start. It's really nothing. It's only a couple of hours of work. But I quickly realized uh, that this is not a weekend project. This is a community effort. And this is something that we will have to do together uh, with the whole of Belgium. So um, it reminded me of this proverb, if you want to go fast, go along. If you want to go far, go together. Uh, so I believe that we need to work on um, uh, putting more uh, design out in the open, whether it's government, or from private companies. And this open design documentation uh, will really help us uh, forward to increase the level of design in Belgium. I want to uh, talk about community models so that we can have a wider community that contributes to a bigger system uh, like the gov.uk. Uh, I would like that people think about reusability, that we don't uh, reinvent the wheel all the time, and that we think about reusable components that are accessible, that are performant, that people can uh, take from a system and that they don't have to uh, start from scratch anymore. A final point I want to make is that I think uh, taxpayer money, public money, uh, should lead to a uh, public good, uh, where I believe at the moment not enough of the work that we're doing um, is being shared out in the open, even though it's paid by public money. So um, I, uh, I have a question uh, for the whole audience. Uh, next up, there's going to be some discussion where I also have some, uh, some questions for you. But in general, I think my message is, what are we waiting for? Let's make a Belgian design system and let's make it awesome. Thanks. OK, um, so these are my, my slides. And now I can uh, invite everyone to, um, to connect their audio if they want to. Maybe Astrid, you have to, uh, to set up something for that. Um, and I. Uh, Everyone should be able to uh, connect with the audio. All right, cool. I hope you en enjoyed the presentation. Um, and um, if you want to say something, uh, don't be shy. Uh, let's uh, let's get the conversation started um, to uh, to talk about um, design. Can we? Can we? Uh, you can also put on your webcam if you want. That's a feature, right?
uh, Astrid? Uh, yes, but I, I will enable that right now. All right, cool. Uh, so uh, audio or video, you can choose. Um, and uh, if you have a, a comment about the presentation, that would be welcome or um, and uh, an answer to the question here, how can we encourage sharing design across companies and organizations? That's that's the first thing that I'm wondering, like why, why don't people uh, share their designs uh, more or how we encourage that sharing? In order to say something, you have to unmute yourself. It's the um, first button in the row. Uh, where you have the microphone. And if you are too shy, you can also put your question in the chat. I am wondering, Johan, what do you think are the main obstacles for people not share or for a Belgian open design system? So that's yep. actually um, uh, my 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 my, uh, my further point. Uh, I think uh, main obstacles for a Belgian design system are um, that there are different levels, um, so federal, uh, regional level, um, and um, they have to work together. So that's a Belgian problem. Um, but I thought about it, and actually every country has this problem. Um, in the UK, there are different parts of the UK, Wales, England, uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland. Um, so, I mean, they, they did it. Um, and um, then there in, 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 in Dutch, um, in the Netherlands, there's also the Rex over it. And then uh, the local governments, different levels. So I think um, different levels are the main problem. Um, Another problem, I think, is that um, people don't really value design that much. Um, so it's a bit of an unknown that we should invest in it. Um, that's also something. Thanks. I see that so Anton maybe, and Dieter connected to their audio. Maybe they want to ask a, a question. Hi, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me, right? Yes. Uh, all right, perfect. Uh, first of all, great presentation. Thanks a, a lot. Um, I have a question. Where do we sign up? Um, <laughs> uh, I am jokingly, of course, but no, I think it's a really nice initiative. Um, I was also, I had a question um, because you you know, you mentioned there are a lot of uh, design systems out there. A lot of big companies, uh, tech companies publish their own design system. Uh, what would make a Belgian design system a Belgian design system? For example, if the UK has a, has a great system, uh, maybe uh why not borrow their design system for example maybe it's a, a bit of a hypothetical question but uh maybe something to what would make what would make belgium's design system unique in a way is perhaps my question uh, i think uh if you look at it objectively there are good parts to the uk design system but if you copy paste it, you don't have anything yet because I think what we need to do is work on a wider community that mm -hmm. uh, uses the same system. So the, the real product is the wider community that uses the system. Um, mm -hmm. It's not about that. Like I had my Sunday experiment there and it's not about the perfect design file. I could theoretically work on it for six months and come up with a perfect design, but it's worth nothing if, if it's um, shared. I think it should also be built together. Um, mm -hmm. So um, you know, people in the Netherlands, I had a chat with someone, they really thought about this and they they all already went through that route of making the perfect thing on their own, but they realized it's more like a community effort. 
um, and that um, agencies, uh, different parts of the government, uh, they uh, they have to get on board uh, with this uh, community mm-hmm. effort uh, first. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a perfect system. It's more about creating the system together, and then then it's it's becoming a viable uh, thing. Mm-hmm. I I agree. Um, I think that's the the biggest hurdle. Uh, I guess. Thanks. All right, cool. Does anybody else want to ask a question uh, or chime in with their? Yeah, I'd like SD to ask a question. Hi. Um, hi. Um, there's something I'm wondering, and I've thought about it a lot. If you talk about design systems, and most of the things we see are actually like component libraries and like UI kits. I think it's more interesting to think of, about the design system as the governance and the community. Um, especially if you, if, you, if you talk about uh, something like a Belgian design system, but how would you like organize that? Is there uh, somebody maintaining the community? Is there, um, yeah, who's in the lead? That's mostly my question. Um, I think it's quite an interesting question. It's also the most difficult question, how to do it. Um, I showed uh, a bit of governance stuff with the GitHub issues where the cookie banner was being discussed. Um, but I think it's much wider than uh, opening it up uh, code-wise or uh, design file-wise. Um, there's going to need to be community events. There's going to, uh, to need to be uh, people who, who are backing it up and who think within their professional position that putting time into it makes sense. Um, I think if people realize that if over a longer period we will invest in a Belgian design system as a group, or like a good Flemish uh, design system, a good uh, Wallon uh, design system, um, then um, we can really go further. And and having those conversations, talking to each other about it, using it, and 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 share, perhaps already starting with sharing things more publicly when we do work, can already help. But I think it's. Uh, it's it, the the governance aspect and who's in the lead is uh, is quite a difficult one. Um, ideally, it gets decided uh, top down by the government by the government themselves that they want to invest in it. But another uh, it could happen is that it's bottom up that enough people decide that uh, it's a good idea and the uh, result could then uh, be. Um, uh, over uh, how to say this, uh, uh, could then be, um, uh, yeah, it could, it, could, it could be used as a base for the, the real Belgian design system because there was already a community effort. Um, that's the two, two yeah. approaches that I'm thinking about. I think the, bot, the, like the bottom map is interesting. Um, yeah. The community is missing, I guess, and I wonder how we can create it without somebody from the government leading it. Um, because you know, there's there's already some sort of design system or component library. Um, yeah, but it's very close. So maybe if you can show by example how it could be done, it would be interesting. Um, I have another uh, question, but yes. maybe somebody else wants to. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to answer Raphael's question first. Uh, he says, um, I don't have mic access. Uh, let's say we end up with a very solid system worked on by lots of designers and dev. How easily do you think it will translate to government, government use? Um, I think it will be a real challenge. Um, and uh, not, not super clear on, 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 on what the question is there. Uh, but getting a system adopted, I think that's the question. Uh, getting it adopted uh, for real, uh, that's going to be the real challenge because you can make a system, but you have to work on adoption. And uh, one difficulty is that everyone has their own needs. Um, the, maybe there are uh, um, already requirements in place. Uh, that um, different uh, people want. You have differences between local government and government and uh, regional government and federal government. And they all have um, 
uh, different requirements. Uh, so working together um, and finding uh, a way to maybe have variants of the same system, uh, that will be, be a challenge. But I think uh, if we get it started, we can improve the overall quality of the websites that we visit. If you now visit uh, the um, financials website from the federal government or the one from uh, public health, coronavirus they are all different and i think uh, it could work if they all start from the same um, idea the same design system um, if anybody else has a question i'm just gonna wait uh, then 20 seconds and then later, uh, you get your question uh, if nobody responds if that's all right Okay, so no, uh, no new people are coming in with a question. Uh, Dieter, if you want, uh, go ahead. I'll try. It's a bit of a follow-up of what Rafael's question was. Um, I call like uh, regarding adoption of design of yeah, like the components, um, because all, everybody has different needs. It will be difficult to align. Like, there's lots of opinions. Um, like how could we get along building different versions of things but still have like uh, sharing those because we have somebody needs a very complex upload field for example another one needs a very simple one um, five, like size applications will change so I'm thinking maybe towards something like Spotify does with their uh, like approach on the things i wonder what your thoughts are i think uh there's there's different different needs uh there's content website needs there are application like needs uh there is also something in between which is like where you um maybe register for a driver's license so that's like a usable form um on a, on a website and i think um you will need variants of your design system for those uh, let's say the backend type of app where you have a lot of data entry and where you are working in every day it will look different um, than uh, a public website which is about information and it looks slightly different uh, from a form type of website where you have to um, where you're interacting with a with a service online so i think all of those can be split up into different design systems um, if you look at shopify they realized pretty quickly that they have a design system for the back office uh, of the shops, but they also have a separate design system for the point of sale uh, for mobile. Um, so I don't think uh, one, one design system um, is the answer, but sharing of design systems definitely is the answer. So if it's closed, uh, closed source, if it's locked behind doors, then nobody can uh, remix it. Nobody can take inspiration from it. Uh, so I think to, to make it more uh, like a natural evolution, let's say somebody uh, makes a, an app for the federal government and they happen to make a design system while creating it, why don't they uh, put it online publicly and, and share that idea with other people who are working with uh, the federal government? It's maybe a bit idealistic uh, that uh, they could merge the two code bases or use the same uh, uh, design as uh, design logic as a base, but I think uh, maybe if people start doing it, uh, it could uh, uh, um, something could start. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, all right, um, thanks. So um, that's all about Belgian design system. Um, maybe I want to take it a bit broader and talk about how open design could help in Belgium. Maybe people are working in a specific field where it would help if, you, if there is more um, open design. Uh, so if anybody has a, a comment uh, on this one, uh, feel free to, um, to let me know and then we can discuss it. Um, for me personally, the, the icons that you published with Mono uh, were already super interesting. Um, and I use, um, oh, I forgot the name of the, 
of the tool for for icons um, but these yeah, yeah with these kinds of um, yeah, open design is really useful for at least my work within open knowledge Belgium and as a non-designer so that's more like free assets <laughs> that you can use uh, which are helpful right um, so Tora has a comment um, a non-design example uh, on the bottom um, on the bottom up approach right okay very interesting I'll definitely read uh, read that article um, so uh, maybe people are working in different fields medical uh, government um, something else and uh, if you have any any idea about maybe how design is opening up within your space if you have a comment about it feel free to put it uh, in the chat um, if there is a general question about uh, the other three topics um, how can we make Belgian design system a reality or the one that has not been on the screen uh, so far much how can we encourage sharing and design across companies and organizations? Uh, they are welcome. Um, we'll be closing the session in uh, eight minutes, uh, or if there are no more questions, uh, we will just uh, stop it here. Uh, so I'm just gonna give it a few moments uh, if somebody wants to say something. I will take that as a no. Um, so I want to thank everyone for uh, attending the session. Um, I hope that I'm inspiring a little bit uh, to start uh, this idea of a Belgian design system. I hope that people will maybe think about, OK, I have this project here. Why don't I put the source code on GitHub? I have this design file here in Figma. Why don't I share it on the uh, on the um, community uh, page on Figma. Um, Astrid, if you want to, you can also uh, take over and uh, and uh, talk about Open Belgium uh, and the coming sessions. Um, but um, if, um, if uh, we're, we're closing it down, I hope people will uh, get some inspiration from this uh, to, to maybe, um, if we can get back together physically, maybe we should have a hack day uh, Anton, you asked, uh, how can we sign up? Um, there's no sign up yet, uh, but I hope that the idea uh, becomes uh, something that people start thinking about. Thank you, Johan. And um, I can just refer to our website, openbelgium.be, where you can see um, the full program and you can still sign up for all the other sessions. And thank you everyone for uh, for joining this session and I hope to see you uh, at a later one as well. Bye -bye. And then it's seen for that recording the